Okay, now we're going to do the feet and the claws. To do the feet, we're going to need sort of a pinkish color. So I'm going to take a, this red color, and then I'm going to add water to it, and it turns into sort of a pink tone. Now, what you want to do is keep the lines pretty thin and randomly dotted in order to do the claws. That makes it more interesting. Solid claws, I have discovered from experience of my students, don't look nearly as interesting as when you sort of dab these. Next, we're going to use Payne's Gray to do the rest of And I'm just testing the Payne's Gray to see how much depth's in the color. I don't want a lot. It's a little too much. Okay, 